All right, what up everybody? This is Voodoo to Let back again. And today we're gonna be talking about the issues in Wisconsin. Now the reason why y'all haven't seen me post any videos is because I wanted to do a lot of research on this one to make sure I didn't look, make myself look like a jackass. All right, so anyway, the issue in Wisconsin, the first little thing we're gonna talk about today is uh, there is this senator called, what, what is his name? <laughs> Glenn Grothman. Glenn Grothman, all right? Now, what he's trying to do is actually push it through legislation saying that single parents, that's probably a lot of you out there, single parents are child abusers. All right, now you're probably thinking like, well, what, what the hell, how? Well, they're trying to say it because, you know, these kids don't get what they need in life. They don't get, you know, the... You know, sorry, they don't get to drive mom and daddy's Mercedes Benz, you know. Uh, mommy, mommy and daddy can't go buy them the most name brand clothes or the most, uh, you know, can't go out and buy them a nook or can't go buy them, you know, this, that, this, and the other, whatever the hell. Also, they seem to think that if they're, that most single parents out here are on welfare, okay. So they think that because so-and-so is on welfare, that the child's going to be on welfare. Well, let me put this it this way. We got a single parent situation right here. Okay, I'm not on welfare. My fiance is not on welfare. All right. Uh, we we do live together, but we are called technically considered single because we are not married. We are engaged. All right. So we would fall into that category if we lived in Wisconsin, which we don't, thank God. I think I'd shoot myself or whatever. I'd be moving out of there right quick in a hurry. <laughs> anyway. Um, and, you know, one thing is our kids want, but, you know, everybody wants. That's just life. It doesn't matter. Unless you're like a multimillionaire who spoils your kid rotten, every single person wants on this life or, you know, in this life. I, for one, try to teach the kids that they need to work for what they want. So, of course, they have chores. Uh, they get an allowance. If they don't do their chores, they lose out on their allowance. If they do extra chores, they even get a raise. You know, like if they get a little smiley face for doing extra chores, if they get five of them, they got five extra dollars on that. Um, that pay period, basically. And I tell them every day, I said, nothing in this world is free. Make Go get it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Don't expect anybody to do it for you. That's how I try to raise them. That's how I hope they raise their children. Okay, so just because you're a single parent doesn't mean that you're teaching your kid that it's okay to mooch off the state. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be for that. I wouldn't be happy about it whatsoever. I'd be kind of upset. All right. So, uh, and another, you know, another thing, um, they're talking about, you know, people who are on welfare are so horrible and everything and they don't know how to raise their kids. Well, let me give you a couple of examples right here. One person that I know raised my best friend. My best friend was bottom barrel poor, you know, just broke as a joke, right? His, mo his mother was on welfare and all that. He, he turned around, went to college, ended up having to do what he could do, every kind of job he could think of to go pay for college, and he became a psychiatrist, all right? That's eight years of college. That's a lot of damn money, and now he's living good, all right? But his mother was on welfare, so, you know, how are you going to sit there and say that every single parent, just because they're on welfare, is a bad parent and that they're abusing their children, well, another thing that's coming to mind is the LGBT community. Okay, these people up in the state of Wisconsin are not allowed to be married, so they have no they have no choice but to register themselves as single parents. And so at that point in time, they could be rich. One of them could be like a doctor or something, you know, making buku bucks, making all this money. Their kid wants for nothing. They're not on welfare or anything like that. But at the same time, they they could ha risk have their child taken away if this law goes through. Because they're a single parent. Okay, people don't actually think about that. Now, some of you are probably thinking, you know, that's the world's dumbest damn law. It'll never get passed. It'll never get passed. Now, like I said, he's just a senator who's trying to push it through legislation and everything. Because, you know, he, he was raised a rich kid and everything. And, you know, he wants to make sure he keeps bank <laughs> so that, you know, poor people like us don't get it. Anyway, um, that almost law or whatever that he's trying to pass is not the stupidest thing to come through Wisconsin, believe me. It's not the stupidest thing to come through the country, okay? Down in North Carolina, they had Proposition 8, which screwed over a lot of people, all right? Everybody was sitting there thinking it would abolish domestic partnerships. Well, in the long run, underneath Proposition 8, they also took the, away the rights of single women that uh, they could not get health care benefits for them or their children if they were not married, all right, and nobody paid attention to that. They were all just so worried that, you know, oh my God, gays are getting married. <laughs> you know, that's what they were worried about. Okay, and another stupid law going through is, of course, uh, 
same-sex mar marriage is going on the ballot. A lot of y'all need to sit there and pay attention to that because they're doing polls on states and the people who are for same-sex marriage always seem to be underneath everybody else. Like, I think the last thing I looked at, and I don't, I don't remember what state it was from, but it was like 46, 42%. Somebody had told me this yesterday. Um, it was 42% that were for gay marriage and 46% that were against it. So, you know, we need to make sure we watch that. But anyway, another really stupid, stupid law. And the only reason that I can think that he even came up with this law was because um, he's a homophobe. <laughs> I, I really can't think of any other reason why he would post this law. Okay, now everybody knows, well, maybe not everybody knows, that Obama had turned around and said, well, you can't stop same-sex couples from visiting each other in a hospital. That's discrimination, la, 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 la. Well, Obama didn't do it right, and I can't really get into details about it because I can't remember exactly the details. However, states are able to overthrow it because it's supposed to be the power of that state to be able to decide that, not the president. So it was taken out of law, and Governor Scott Walker, which is possibly the biggest douchebag in the world, I mean, we're talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give him a good comparison to Hitler. <laughs> Let's put it this way, almost Hitler reincarnated, <laughs> all right? He is passing this law, and it's actually already passed. Um, I don't know if it's in effect just yet, but it is actually in there, saying that same-sex couples cannot visit each other in the hospital. Now... I'm not 100% sure if it's only ICU or if it's just visitation, period. Because if it's visitation, period, you know, they should be able to stop friends and everybody from, you know, HIPAA law sits there and says that you cannot ask sexual orientation. All right, so if you're, you know, you're a guy and your boyfriend wants to show up, you know, all he has to do is claim he's your friend. But the moment you say, oh, that's my partner, no, 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 no you can't visit. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true. If anybody wants to go ahead and look that up to make sure that, you know, it's not just hospital visitations, go ahead and correct me on that, all right? Because we actually want to know. We've been trying to look it up and figure it out at Dream of Equality. Um, but as far as we can find it, it says hospital visitation. It doesn't just say ICU. Now, with the whole ICU thing, because they abolished, you know, they took apart the... Uh, the um domestic partnership and everything like that now they're stopping same-sex couples from going into icu to go into icu you have to be a family member you have to either be married or you have to be a brother sister mom dad or grandparent that's the only way you can actually get in or child to icu okay now one of our admin up at dream of equality actually decided to make a phone call you know he decided to call and ask one of the hospitals up there, and he's going to do a couple of more just to see if he can find this little loophole that we got. He said, well, okay, my fiancé, who, you know, he said it was a woman, is going to be in ICU for a while. I need to know, am I able to actually visit her in ICU? And they said yes. All right, so wait a second. Engaged couples aren't married, all right, and they're really, they're not family. They're not considered family yet. They're not binding by that union. So why is it that a straight couple can go up in there and say, hey, that's my fiance. I want to go see them. But a same-sex couple cannot do that. To me, there's there's no reason for it. Um, he cannot come up with one logical excuse why he's stopping that besides pure homophobia. Because if you think about it, okay, the Hippocratic Law states... That hospitals cannot do anything that will harm the patient physically or mentally. Now you're sitting there and I see you're, you're banged up. You don't know if you don't know if you're gonna survive. You don't know this. You don't know that. It's gonna cause more mental stress on that patient, knowing that the person that they love is not allowed to see them on what could be their last days. Not to mention the person who's trying to go see them in the first place. Okay, all it can really do is help um, that patient who's going in for this major surgery or an ICU, or something like that, to be able to see the one that they love, they're supporting them with them, it can only help them. So, why are we stopping this? Why, why is he stopping this? I, like I said, I can't come up with any logical reason except for homophobia. That's it. I mean, you're just trying to literally be a douchebag, a prick, a dumb fuck. That's all you're trying to do. You're trying to be Hitler. You know, you're trying to dictate. And so I'm thinking what it is, is they tried to do a recall on him, and a lot of it was the LGBT community, and I think he's trying to stick it to him now. 
Um, but anyway, us at Dream of Equality are trying to find a way that we can actually do something about this and call it unconstitutional because it really is. It's discrimination. I mean, how come, like, okay, let's, let's put it this way. If my fiance, if we lived in Wisconsin and my fiance was in ICU, why would I be able to, be, just because I'm a woman and he's a man, why would I be able to go up in there and show him the love and support? Now I'd be really pissed off if I could and I'm not even going to lie. So I can only imagine what they're feeling. You know, they're probably very hurt, very pissed off, panicking, you know, sit, sitting there thinking they're at ICU, intensive care unit. They could die and I can never get to say goodbye. I can never get to say I love them one last time. I would go insane. Oh my God. If they sat there and told me I couldn't do it, I would go friggin' insane. Okay. So yeah, I, I can't, I can't figure it out what the purpose is. If anybody, any one of you watching this can sit there and give me a logical reason, I, I challenge you to do so because I've racked my brain trying to think of what the purpose was to doing this. So anyway, if any of you have some kind of pride group going on or any kind of activist group going on that want to help stop this, get a hold of Dream of Equality. We are a group on Facebook that we are, we are trying to turn, we are, we're doing the whole nonprofit organization thing. Uh, we have our own website, www, well, it's not, leave the www out, but dreamofequality.webs.com check us out um we're also like i said on facebook just look look us up if any of you want to collaborate together we would definitely appreciate it we want to try to work on this we want to try to show everybody how unfair it actually is you know and if we can stop this we can stop the that law from possibly getting passed because like i said stupider laws have been passed um but we can try to stop this if we all just kind of work together. So if you have some kind of group or you have some kind of nonprofit organization, uh, some activist organization working for the same cause, please get a hold of us. Anyway, any any questions, any concerns, any uh, you want to add something, go ahead and leave me a message. Um, you know, I challenge you to give me any kind of reason why besides Bible thumping crap, because we all know there's besides the Bible, there's really no reason for you to, you know, freak out about it. <laughs> um so, you know, if you can give me a logical reason why this law should stay in effect and why they shouldn't be able to see each other, go ahead and give me a message because, you know, I'd love the entertainment and I definitely will get back to you. So anyway, this is Voodoo Let out.